basket. Okay, today we're going to talk about ordering numbers. We've learned how to compare them, and uh, knowing how to compare them is going to help us also when we order them. When we put them in order, we want to put them in a special order, and usually the directions are going to tell you what order to put them in. The directions here say, put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Now you be very careful because sometimes the directions say put them in order from greatest to least. So it is very important when you're ordering numbers to read the directions very carefully because one question can say least to greatest and the very next one will say greatest to least. Alright, let's look at the numbers that we have. This is a four digit number. This is a three digit number. This is a four digit number. Now automatically I should be thinking if I'm putting in the numbers in order from least to greatest, the one with three digits is going to be my smallest number. So I'm going to put it first. And I tell students to go ahead and put a little check beside it because there's no need to compare the digits in that number anymore. We've already decided it is the smallest number. Now let's look at the other two. We always want to start at the greatest place. In the thousands place, in this number, we have a four. Let's look at the other one. In the thousands place, we have a four. That really doesn't tell us which one is greatest. Let's move to the next place, which is the hundreds place. In this number, we, ha in this, we have a six in the hundreds place. In this number, we have a six in the greatest place. And again, that really doesn't tell us which number is the greatest. So let's keep moving. In the tens place in this number, we have a three. And in the tens place in this number, we have a one. Now we can tell a difference. We know that one is smaller than three. So that tells us that this number is our second number, 4,612. And I put a little check beside it. And the last number, our greatest number, will be 4,632. We wrote them from least to greatest. Okay, let's look at another one. But remember, we need to read the directions carefully first. The directions have changed. Put the numbers in order from greatest to least. Okay, so now we're looking for the greatest number. And we'll begin just like we did earlier. We're going to start at the greatest place. In this number, in the hundred thousands place, we have a two. We have a two in the hundred thousands place in this number, and a two in the hundred thousands place in this number. That doesn't tell us much. So we need to keep going. In the ten thousands place, we have a three. We have a three in the ten thousands place and a three in the ten thousands place. We still don't know enough yet. Let's keep going. We have a six in the thousands place, six in the thousands place, six in the thousands place. Still not sure. Let's look to the hundreds place. We have a nine in the hundreds place here, an eight in the hundreds place here, and a nine in the hundred pla hundreds place here. So automatically I know that this one must be my smallest number. But remember what the direction said, greatest to least. So I know where this number goes. I know it's the smallest. But I'm going to go down here and put it last. Since I already know it's the smallest number. And again, I'm going to put a little check beside it to remind me that I don't have to check that number again. Now we're concerned about these two numbers. Let's look at the tens place. In the tens place in this number, I have a nine. In the tens place in this number, I have an eight. So that tells me what I need to know. Eight is smaller than nine. So nine, uh, 236,998 is going to be the greatest number of the three. That means this number will be in the middle, 236,989. 